is that a utility trailer? I said, yeah. She was like, well, it's stolen out of Texas. I said, oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on the video. Well, it is a beautiful evening and we had something kind of crazy happen this morning. Um, we got caught with something that we wasn't supposed to have it got stolen we're going to kind of go in detail about that here in just a second steph's on her way out um that way she can kind of help and tell you um what, how it all kind of went down so it could have been very very bad luckily um i did the smart thing and i'm going to tell y'all what y'all can do to protect y'all self as well but uh before we get started we finally completed uh steph's coop and we got the chickens and the guineas in it and they are loving every minute of it um, so far we really like these coops um, we're going to be able to move them around a little bit leave, move, move them every two or three days that way they don't completely eat all the grass down and it can continue growing back so kind of an update with the predators and stuff we haven't lost any more animals um, you know the guineas were the last ones that we've lost um, we found uh, the one guinea in the very back. We did put up some extra cameras. Um, we got some um, clippings on one. Um, when we go down here and check these other ones here in just a second, we will see what we have and I'll actually post it and let you see what's on, on the videos. And also we got a new surprise for the property. Um, a gentleman uh, I met with earlier today as well as at a, a market, he had a animal and he was ready to boy what are you doing oh she must be in i learned this today so today has been a very very awesome day we've learned a lot of good stuff um, about the farm and then i want to show y'all our newest member to the farm um, i've always wanted one of these i bought them when they was little um, they didn't make it it's just hard to raise uh, babies um, if you don't have the right environment but I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to show you all right here it is this is the newest member to the farm um, it is a turkey he is very 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 big um, don't know much about him other than he's really really big and he's really really friendly um, they actually had him on a little toss string I don't know, like I say, I don't know much about him, but um, he might, literally, he's probably overweight, but he's really, really friendly. I mean, he's, it's absolutely amazing. The kids come up and pet him. Um, but as some people were saying, it's like they've never seen feet this big on a turkey before. But I don't know much about turkey. So if you, have any information definitely let us know obviously he was in a small pen when we got him so his feathers will grow out um, but I just love him because he's so friendly and um, we're going to be uh, getting him a name come on come over here come on come on so that's him walking around a little bit. Um, we're gonna be getting him a name, trying to figure it out. Um, one thing I don't understand because of looking some other turkeys, usually this right here is really, really red, but it's not actually red on him. So we're gonna be needing to get him a name and uh, we're gonna want y'all to help us out there. What? Oh, she's looking for a mama. That's the newest babies to the farm. I think it's so cute to watch these little bitty babies. And she is an absolutely awesome mama. That looks painful though. She gives them a little drink and then she's, it's time to go. So anyways, like I say, we don't know much about turkeys, but I know the gobbler, whatever, is supposed to be a lot redder than that. Um, so if y'all know anything about them, what we need to look for, he definitely looks like he's having a hard time getting getting around. Um, 
but I just felt like when I saw the turkey, he was super, super nice. So that would be perfect for the kids here. And it'd just give him a, a amazing place to run free and not be locked up. He can just kind of roam around the property. Now I will say when Cowboy met him for the first time, they did not see eye to eye. So if I find some of that footage, I'll put that in there and let you see. Let me go over here and see if Steph's ready. And uh, we're gonna go check the cameras and check that area down there, see if there's any more movement. Um, we did see a couple deer down there earlier uh, or later yesterday evening. So I'm gonna go get Steph and we'll head that way. So we'll do that and um, we'll tell you about the issue we got caught up in today. All right guys, so I finally got Steph loaded up here. We're gonna go down here and check these cameras. Um, like I say, uh, last night, last couple nights, we haven't lost any animals that we know of. But, um, you know, the night before we found uh, a couple more guineas and uh, we're gonna move some cameras around uh, just because I think I found another trail and uh, we're gonna go ahead and move the cameras around on the deer blind because we started putting uh, deer corn in. But um, I know a lot of people in the last video uh, believe that possums are not bad, but they are, especially when they get up and get the eggs and they will get the baby chicks as well. And we still have a few baby chicks and, and that's just part of it. And I just, I hate it, but we've got to protect our animals and that's just what we gotta do. Wow, look at how much this has come up. Look oh, at this pretty. guys, that is awesome. Doesn't take long for that stuff to grow. No. That is crazy. This, this is like day number seven, I think. Wow, that's beautiful. It looks like it's growing more in the shade. But um, we turned our, 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 our uh, corn feeder on um, earlier. It got a test. So now you'll see that we got some corn on the ground. And that last a couple of videos back, I was asking people about how to keep um, this corn from stacking up here. Um, and I really didn't find the right issue. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with the cutter and cut this out because I got to leave the corners because that's what holds the rotator up so um we're going to keep them up so this camera over here is the one that um no actually yeah so this camera here is the one that picked up the deer the other night these other cameras have not picked anything up but i know there's a fresh trail out here and i put some corn over there and the corn's gone so i don't know what's going on with that so we're going to move this camera and then our camera up here on the deer blind or uh, up here on the deer plot, we're gonna kind of move that here to the middle um, because most of the deer come in from this way. We're gonna scoot it up because it, it's not actually picking us up from here. But before we do that, we'll kind of tell you what happened today. Um, it almost cost us big time, um, money wise, financial wise, and it could have, uh, been bad on down the road so i was really excited about it yeah I, I was super excited so kind of the deal is um we're not going to give out no names uh, i did shoot a little bit of video but i'm not going to put that out there right yet just because um th there's the investigations going on and they're going to try to catch the guy um so we're at a, a flea market uh, around our area and uh, we we see this trailer and it's loaded up with panels or uh, I thought it was gates. panel gates and uh, we ended up getting a couple we'll, we'll show you all them when we get up the house because I want to put them uh, panels or put gates over there on them pins so they can actually open the gate without crossing I'm afraid one of them's going to really get really get hurt we got a good good deal on them but um so he had a whole whole bunch of them and another guy I know he comes up he buys all of them and I get two of them and the guy says hey the trailer's for sale too and I said oh okay and i sat there me and steph was talking about it and uh said how much you want for it and he said 1600 so i was like man that's that's a good deal you know um it's it a long flatbed trailer yeah it's really really nice and um so 
I got the money out. I started counting it and I had it in my hand. And I walked to the front of the trailer and I noticed that there was some fresh spray paint on the tongue and then on the back of the bed. So me being in law enforcement, that was a good sign for me to look for. So I called, um, uh, so I called one of the guys I used to work with and I said, hey, I'm fixing, to, I'm fixing to buy this trailer. I'm gonna give you this VIN number. Will you run it and see if it's stolen or not? So the law is, they can tell you, you can get a VIN check. They can tell you whether it's stolen or not. They just can't give you out information on it. Um, and, and I recommend this, if you're ever gonna make a big purchase or somewhere, you travel somewhere, call that police department there in that town and say, hey, I'm fixing to purchase this vehicle. Will you check and see if it's stolen? So um, anyways, I get it out and I make the phone call and there's like, let me call you back. So I was like, well, it's taking a little bit. That ain't a good sign because they're verifying things. So Steph walked around, around to the front with me and we were sitting there and, and she called back. She was like, hey, is that a utility trailer? I said, yeah. She was like, well, it's stolen out of Texas. I said, oh my gosh. So I literally was just seconds away from giving this man this money, which then, you know, he really don't have to give me the money back because I had already made the purchase. So I was sitting there and I walked over to him and I said, hey, this trailer's stolen, dude. He was like, what? I was like, yeah, it's stolen. Because right before that, I was over there on the phone looking at things and he come up to me and he was like, man, you know, I got this from a guy in Texas and, you know, good guy. And uh, he was like, I was like, okay. He was like, man, everything's clean on the trailer. And then I was like. He didn't have a title though. He told us that he would write us a bill of sale. Yeah, he said he had write us a bill of sale. So I was like, I was good with that. So they was actually over there writing the bill of sale. And uh, so um, one of my old partners called me back and said, hey, where are you at? Well, we got, we got the PD, we're coming out there. So um, we wait there, they come up and they get to talking and um, exchange information. I, he had just bought the trailer a week ago. So, um, so I, I really don't think he knew it was stolen, but it's one of those deals that, it's one of those deals that if it's too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true. Well, come to find out, he had gave $1,000 for the trailer, and this trailer's probably worth about $2,400. And, you know, that was the reason why I wasn't real suspicious. It wasn't much, you know, it wasn't much, it, it wasn't enough for me to be like shocked, like, oh, this this is most like stolen. Because there's some items I've been out there before, and, and I look at them, and they're telling me the price. I'm like, that's stolen. But, um yeah, he was a little upset, but luckily, um, after they got there, um, we ended up getting our turkey that we got, and we loaded it up, we got our panels. Talked to the officers and told them exactly what happened when I was there. I told him I didn't think that he was um, legitimately trying to sell a stolen trailer. I don't think he knew it was stolen, but here's the deal. So if I wouldn't have checked it, and I almost didn't, if I wouldn't have checked it, and I would have been hauling something way off somewhere and I was to get stopped and they run that VIN number, here's the deal. It's gonna go bad for me because they're going to run it. It's gonna come back stolen, possession of stolen property. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, thank God that I took the time and here's the deal. I really wanted that trailer. It was, it was nice. Yeah, it was nice. We've been nice. looking for a little trailer like to haul the lawnmower or the side by side into town to get gas and stuff like that. But I mean, we can borrow one. I mean, we have a few people that we can borrow trailers from, but it's just, it's, it's, it's always better to have your own, I think. Yeah, and um, that's one, one thing that, you know, we are really enjoying now. We're able to start buying our own stuff mm -hmm. um, and you don't have to borrow things. Uh, the next really big item we need is a, a tractor, but we're gonna get there. Um, but we, we really escaped, uh, escaped a bullet on this one because, um, this could have really cost us down the road um, because obviously, you know, we'd have brought it out here and there would be times that we would haul things and, you know, it would be run. So um, if, any advice to anyone, if you go to buy a big item deal, make sure, call your local agency and ask them to see if it's stolen because here's the deal, you're not going to get your money back. You're not. 
And that's what that guy said. Well, I've lost out on that money. <clears throat> and he's right. So, um, yeah, yeah. Luckily, um, luckily we did not buy it and get stopped down the road and then go to jail. We just, we almost got, like I said, scammed, whatever you call it. But um, luckily with my background, it made me um, think a little bit more about it. And um, did you say you, you had a, a name for the turkey? I like Oscar. She likes the name Oscar, so. Yeah, uh, my mother-in-law, uh, Kat, is the one that actually was like, you know, Oscar. Oh, there was a funny joke behind that too, but we ain't gonna talk about that. Oh, okay. But, um, so I guess his name's gonna be Oscar, and uh, he does look like he's way overweight. Um, he doesn't move around much, but we're gonna sit back and watch him. If I think any, he might be older. The size of his feet, I think he's old. How, the guy told us he is like seven months old, but that, that can't oh, be. Oh yeah, that's true. That can't, but, but here's the deal. Once you go to these places like this, not everybody no, no. always tells you the truth. So um, anyways, I'm gonna turn the camera over to Steph and we're gonna switch this up. Right, I got two T-Pos. I'm gonna put both of these on one. Like I say is, I want to see, it's always fun. Um, and I, I can remember the videos when we lived back in town. We'd come out here and get this video footage and then we'd go back and sit in front of the computer and we would go through them. And it was this absolutely blast seeing the kids so excited about the deer. And I know some people don't like deer hunting, but we don't really do it for the sport. We do it for the meat. That's what we've been eating is the, the deer meat. And now that we're fixing to have beef, we're going to mix it up and we're going to make a make it's going to taste really good. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to put this dude right about here. It seems like every hunting season we gotta get new stuff. Not on this, we're gonna use the cameras for hunting as well. But you know, we want to also get it's five o'clock somewhere. There we go. It's five o'clock somewhere. Let's see how they did this. I think it needs to go right there. I made a reel on this the other day. If you ever get somewhere and you don't have a T-post puller, you can pull it like this. Oh, my grass. Where'd you learn that? I don't know. So you didn't know it forever. Now we got our handy dandy camera here. I think that's where I want it. Let me go dance like a deer. Yeah, go dance like a deer. How far do you want me to go back? Right there. Where's your phone at? Hello, boy, we got, something's coming in on the, uh, the camera trail. There should be a bunch of them pop up since we've been out here. Okay, well, I guess it did shoot that far. All right, so we got that up. And the reason why I got it pointing there is there's a trail that comes right up here. Like I said, we've been hearing the coyotes come up behind the trailer and that would make more sense of them walking up and down this trail. And um, we may go ahead and have Layton uh, put some of his, uh, his traps out there. If we can get them on camera, we're gonna go ahead and get the traps. We're gonna put the traps out. That's what we're looking for, the path they're taking, the trail they're taking, because that's where we want to set the traps. I've got some wire traps. I think we're going to move back here in the back. There's a pig or I don't know what that one thing is, but we got to start getting these things caught. And I know a lot of y'all do not like it when the possums and, and raccoons and stuff get dispatched. We gotta do what we gotta do. So um, if you was in our predicament or in our position, you would tr truly understand. We'll go back up to the house. I got a, another thing I want to show y'all and then um, we'll do our daily routine for the ones that enjoy the animals. 
uh, stay tuned because all of them are fixing to come up. And you will get, and you will get to see us use our new feeder again. I absolutely love that thing. Pretty excited about it. And I know many of y'all said it many, many times, need to get a gate, need to get a gate. Well, we finally found the great opportunity and the great price. So we went ahead and got two of them. So what we're gonna do with this is we're going to bring, um, bring it over here. And where the, um, the panel, the gate and stuff is now, we'll probably cut that down. And I'm gonna take a, a wooden post and I'm gonna dig a big old hole. And then we're gonna pour it in cement. And from the cement, we can actually, after that, we can set it here just like this and we can open it up and they can go in and out without having to climb over it. I think it's gonna work out perfect. So super excited about it. Just another, another little thing that we get excited about that probably ain't excited to most of y'all, but we absolutely enjoy it. So we'll get the other one out and put it over here. What we're going to do, the second one is uh, we're fixing to move the panels and uh, put another gate up. I'm gonna hopefully, if we can wait another week, we may end up trying to go get some more panels. That way we don't have to take all those down, but we'll just see how it works. They're ready for you. They are ready. Well, I, before I do anything, I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> Y'all ready? Huh? What are you doing, Oscar? Look at Oscar. Are you hungry, buddy? Huh? Are you hungry? Yeah, I think he's a little older than what they said. Are you hungry, Oscar? You're okay. This is his first day here, so come on over here, Oscar. Hey, over here. Go, go. What are you doing, Carly? I just love this thing. I always make sure I pin this up because the animals can come over there and grab it and pour it out. What y'all doing? Oh, you better get out of the way. The, um, the chickens uh, eat the leftovers and the babies will too. And badger. So we got them one. I'll get y'all one. Hang on. Hang on. You like that badger? It won't be too long. Y'all try to figure out how to open that dude. Come over here. I know, Badger, but you're going to have to wait, buddy. Can I please get it in your feeders? Come on. Come on. We need to get a couple more of those feeders. And now we're actually feeding the chickens this too. And we, we leave feed out here um, because we got some of the other goats that's running around. Like I said, we're fixing to move them and uh, get everything separated again. Um, I don't know, just some of them are jumping out and they're just hard to keep separated. Yeah, it was in the swimming pool. I don't know what happened to the swimming pool. Look at those guineas. Now go to go. You're not supposed to be doing that. What's it? See, that's the issue. That's the reason why we went ahead and stretched it, uh, put the, the string. Well, 
y'all don't know this, not unless you watch Steph's channel. We took um, that electric wire and went all the way around the bottom just because I know the goats will actually go through that. This is the reason why we can't have nice stuff, guys. I think it was Wilbur. There's y'all some feed. I like how we had two stumps right here to hold the buckets. Yeah. That's the reason why I left them there. I knew one day this was coming. Oh, whatever. Oh, it's okay, honey. Air Jordan, you need to go on. You need to go on. And Come here, Wilbur. He had some Oscar, here. You want some? There you go, Oscar. That's probably new feed compared to what you're used to eat. Well, come on, Wilbur. Well, come on. Come on, Wilbur. Where are you at? Huh, huh, huh? We're right here. Get you some food. Get you some food. He does not like this. Which is weird, pigs like everything. Well, they will get used to it one way or another. So we'll go through and, come on girls. You're going through my chickens too. Huh? I know you're going through my chickens. Yeah, I'm going through your chickens. I'm gonna make sure you took care of them today. Oh. What? <laughs> um, we'll have to go get some, we'll have to get some more feed. It's okay. Where's mama, she got eggs again? Oh, there she is. She's up there. Do y'all want some of this? I thought there any she eggs? was in here. No. All right. I thought there might be something. Looks like they finally ate all theirs from this morning. put some over with Fred yesterday. Red Bear's bread. Yeah. She's about to give birth. Yep. She needs to be in that other pen. I don't know how. I guess when that wire breaks, that's how they separate. So, yeah. She was bred before she got here. Oh, was she? Yeah. Hey, Fred. How you doing, buddy? You still got some corn? Huh? Well, See, come here. Poured a little bit out. Well, come here. Come here. Well, come here. Well, that's Fred, guys. Um, we're getting ready to experience farm life. Um, we've had Fred for about a year. Um, has been grazing on our neighbor's uh, property. Uh, yeah, here in a few days, we will back the truck up over there. We will load him up in that trailer and we will be taking him to freezer camp. Um, it's, this is new to us. We, we haven't ever done this to one of our animals, I don't think of. Just deer. Deer, deer is the only thing. So it's gonna be really new to us. And, um, but this is what we want because we know what uh, Fred's ate. We know Fred don't have medication in him. We know he don't have any hormone stuff. And that's where we want to get. It's gonna get hard um, talking to the Max and everybody else. When you raise your own meat, it tastes totally different from the store meat. It's gonna be hard to get used to, but that's what we want our kids to know and how we can finish raising our kids up and then they can teach their kids. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. We wanna thank each and every one of y'all for watching our video. And also leave a, comment in the uh, leave a comment in the comment box if you've ever bought something that was stolen or come into a situation kind of like we did and let us know what how the outcome was because this outcome could have been totally different from us and um, yeah let us know in the comment box hope each and every one of y'all have a wonderful night god bless you